Welcome back. Our good buddy Jared Miller, the host of the syndicated show Animal Exploration with Jared Miller, is here this morning. And he's brought four exotic animals that have one thing in common. They're all on the endangered species list, and we're told they're very safe. Jared, Absolutely. good morning. Good morning. Back good morning, morning. Good morning, Russ. It's a pleasure as always. And we're going to start. This is, this is Mowgli. And again, we're going to be meeting some animals that are all on the brink of extinction, mm -hmm. but are very iconic when it comes to, you know, representing their, their countries of origin. Now, this guy here, he's a, he's a ring-tailed lemur. Mm -hmm. And lemurs, there's a hundred different species, ranging from little lemurs about the size of a mouse up to one about the size of a... Oh, yeah, that's right, I Rebecca. Can feed him? Absolutely, feed him. That's the best way. <gasps> that's the I quickest way to a lemur's heart is through <laughs> his mouth. Well, look how he leans back. He doesn't yeah. want to miss a drop of that fruit. I'm going to put it right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good move, uh, You know, you never know. That, but that's it's what's neat. When you look at a lemur, what do you guys think? I mean, what family of animal... Do you think this is a cat? Cat? You know, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people think cat, right? Couldn't believe yeah. that. They're a primate just like us. Wow. Huh. They're a very primitive primate and native only to Madagascar, and that's why they're so endangered. They're only found in Madagascar, and this is an animal that, because of deforestation and logging, losing okay. their home very rapidly. And all, most lemurs are endangered, and again, they're only okay. found in Madagascar. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Yeah, Bye. there we go. You have next? a Bengal tiger we coming do. out next? Look at this. Oh, guy. Look at this. this is where Russ and I both yeah. back up <laughs> and allow Jared to look take over. Look at her. She is just absolutely beautiful. Now, again, talking about iconic animals, especially when you're, when you're considering endangered species, tigers are one of the most, obviously one of the most popular animals in the world. How but old look, is this one? This one, believe it or not, I, and that's chuffing. That's a good sound, guys. It's, okay. That's okay. like purring with right. a small cat, but chuffing. Boy. And only five months old. So can you imagine? Just five months. Just five months. So when, when, she, when Emma here is full grown, she'll be almost 500 pounds. But again, in Asia, one of the most revered cats in the world, critically endangered. Mm -hmm. Le, you know, around 3,000 only left in the wild. And what's remarkable about tigers, again, they're just they're the largest cat in the world. Mm -hmm. They're iconic in that part of the world. And because of their size and because of deforestation, we're losing these guys very, very rapidly. Yeah. Wow, well, Rebecca and I are in New Jersey right now. But again, she's beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? She's beautiful. I, it's beautiful. Yeah. I just love this. Now we got one. Oh, you got to see this one. And right. when people see this, uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Yeah, the width of the tiger That's leaves. Big, well, how old, by the way, five months old, how heavy? At five is she? months, believe it or not, she's 65 pounds. And wow. look at this. Oh on my the God. other yeah, end here. of the spectrum is this little beautiful animal. And again, you know, you think of the rainforest, you think of Asia, you think a lot of places with endangered species. Yeah. You never really think about Australia or, mm. you know, animals like kangaroos right. being endangered. But, you know, uh, kangaroos and wallabies are pretty common. But this is a very unique species called the Parma wallaby and a very endangered species mm. of macropod, meaning, you know, animals with big feet. Right, right. Very how old is this, one? this one is actually about three years old, so he's full grown, believe yeah. it or not. So, right. now, do you want to try? Does the yeah, I'm going to leave that up you're to you, Jerry. But, leave. but does the wallaby have a pouch he's making, like the kangaroo absolutely. does? Absolutely, they're all marsupials. Right. And again, what makes this guy endangered mm -hmm. is a lot of agriculture in that part of the world. Mm -hmm. Again, you think of rainforest coming down, mm -hmm. but the scrubland and even the desert areas where a lot of agriculture in Australia. Rebecca's Very favorite sweet. is next. Guy. Oh, absolutely! A Here monster? we go. Yeah. This is yeah. You, you guys want to meet a real monster this morning? I love this guy. And this guy. Just kidding. Uh, this is a very uh, a threatening oh, creature. Oh, so bad. No, look at this Get guy. Get closer. Well, I can say that. <laughs> look at how awesome wow. he is. Now, this guy is iconic of the American Southwest, and he is a true monster. He's called a Gila monster. Mm -hmm. And this is really one of only two venomous lizards. Now, when you think of lizards, you don't really think of, you know, that venomous? Venomous, right, or being that dangerous. But Gila monsters <laughs> and beaded lizards actually have saliva that, if you don't get it treated, could send you to the hospital or right. even, um, even, you know, be fatal. All right. Wow. All right. All right. Well, Jared, thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks Jared. to all of your Appreciate friends. Well. Okay. Jared Miller, thank you. <laughs>